Okay, so in my last video about uh, Central or Centennial Park near downtown in Tulsa, I may have been mistaken. So where I'm at right now is a smaller park, um, but it's also, you know, a nice park. It is at the corner, uh, or near the intersection, excuse me, I'm going to block off of that right in there. I think, yeah, is Memorial and 11th Street, or Route 66, which is an old decommissioned highway. Uh, it's a historical landmark now, but anyway, that was part of the original highway system built in the United States. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is actually a nice park. I'm kind of surprised that I thought it was just like a big circle shape. You know, it's not a very large park, but um, yeah, you know, you can... There's some rock work there, and you got a little creek going through there. You hear the birds chirping and chiming. You know, you can actually pay, play catch with their kids and stuff like that here, but I had to park. You can't even see my car, but I had to park down in there. So when you actually, and then you have to like walk up there beside that building right there, and then this is a path that goes around the park, and you know, there's various benches and whatnot. The I'm not going to walk around the entire park. Um, you know, there is a road there, but the road noise isn't super intrusive. But one thing I do not like is the fact that I'm coming down here and I cannot see my car. Now, a lot of parks, that's the case, you know, but it's this park borders a neighborhood. And this isn't a bad part of town, but it's not a part of town that I know very well. And um, there is more, you know, a little more happening or going on around here than where I live in South Tulsa. So, like I said, this place is at 11th and Memorial and I live at, you know, uh, pretty much 81st and Memorial. Um, again, this is a beautiful park though. Uh, you get into more, you know, uh, areas with criminal activity, but, um, yeah, got a little frisbee golf going on over here, you know. Got this nice walkway and pathway. Um, so yeah, you know, this is a this is a nice park to have a picnic, you know. You can be up over there, you know. There's a wall bordering that business, so that kind of blocks the highway. That's not the best view, but you know, I mean, there are parks within the city, so I appreciate, you know, the city's efforts to have recreational areas especially neighboring or bordering these neighborhoods when you're in here this is one thing that i really love about parks and walking around in nature when you're in a city or in a city's limits you're not gonna feel like you're in an open field or in a forest or something like that but i like when i turn around and i feel i mean there is a road there but i feel nestled a little bit you know i look up um you know there's some rolling hills there's some trees and, you know, it's kind of a feel that you're a little bit away from something, you know. It's not like you're walking right next to the road. And, you know, Frisbee golf's definitely a plus. I really like these rocks and the way that that's not just random little rocks laying there and, you know, like some of the other spots around town where... I know it's not as natural, but you know, the border's a little <laughs> more defined and man-made, obviously. The airport's probably about two or three miles from here, but yeah. Um, we got a little storm raining here. A little dam over here. And I might actually try to walk across. Okay guys, what I did here was just pretty dumb. Um, I decided that I was going to kind of see if I could walk across. Even though the borders or the edges of this canal or creek are man-made, these rocks are uneven and they can get slippery. So if I were to slip and hurt myself, there might not be anybody around for a little while to see me and you can get seriously injured here. So I do not recommend doing that. Um, I didn't fall, but yeah, you know, I, I've been in creeks and things where I have fallen over and it's not pretty so you know definitely don't do that just enjoy the sights and sounds of the park in a sick in a very safe manner um and you'll be okay like i said my car is right there so the 
pretty red thing there. And parking lot's cool. Um, you know, there's basketball courts over here. And like I said, there's that baseball field over there. Um, so like I said, my car is down there. You can see the top of it right here. But yeah, there's a neighborhood there. And um, I always like little bridges and parks because I think that, you know, on a windy day, when there's a slight breeze when you're on a bridge, you're elevated, you can feel it a little bit more. And you can kind of look over the edge. That's pretty scenic there, you know. I mean, it, this isn't like some grandiose park, but it's it's kind of like a lot of times I think of parks because I'm a guy. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a, a a girl, you know. Like it's not all done up and a ton of makeup and a ton of because that's not sustainable and that's not going to be consistent. But this park is pretty much going to look the same way year round you know it doesn't have to be dressed up with a ton of flowers to be really beautiful and that there's nothing wrong with that with parks but i kind of like these parks they're easy to maintain because our city is struggling a little bit so i mean basically in this park it's just a matter of cutting the grass and picking up some trash you know these trees really don't have to be pruned as typical in the city of tulsa there's a lot of parks to do, you know, they have runoffs and drains uh, for floodwaters. And we definitely need these types of things. We had some heavy thunderstorms the past couple days. And so these little parks, if you can imagine, um, this, I don't know what this is, can kind of double as like soccer training complex. If it had a goal on each side, it could be a soccer field. Although it's not flat, but um, anyway, you can have storm drain runoff come down into this park you know it'll come out of that sort of thing from this neighborhood and you can see these houses are elevated because this is a floodplain this is that mingo valley area that i'm talking about so if you saw my video on um i can't even remember the name of the park the jd metcalf park um you know that that is a facility that's maintained by the army corps of engineers and so you know it helps flood uh, flood water and rainwater run off um, down into these little basin areas so it doesn't flood these neighborhoods and the surrounding community and that park is less than a mile up that way you know like I said this park is at pretty much 11th and Memorial and that park starts at 11th and Mingo okay guys I just wanted to thank you for watching and wanted to do a little voice over here as I kind of rambled um, as I made my way to the other side of the park um, I was just saying that this park is surprisingly well maintained given that it is on the edge of a neighborhood and has a, a elementary school on its border as well I mean a lot of times people who live near these parks they kind of abuse them you know it's not like when you visit a park you're a little bit more respectful you throw things in the trash but if you're from the neighborhood you kind of throw your trash on the ground you go out there smoke or you know throw your beer cans on the ground and uh, you know, as I walked through this park, I didn't see a ton of trash and debris uh, like it has been disrespected. So that was a great um, uh, thing to observe and, you know, made me like this park even more. Okay, so we're approaching the bridge. I mean, this is a smaller bridge. But anyway, I love little bridges like this at parks. Um, they're going to give you that scenic view. And it looks like they're building some slides and some other things near this park, which would be really good. And this park actually goes pretty far back. Um, it's probably potentially, I don't know, a third or half a mile back. I mean, it's kind of slim, but I love when parks border neighborhoods. Because I think that's just the way parks should be. That they, uh, the neighborhood segues into a park. You know, it's just, it's just a natural outgrowth. You know, you have children and families in these houses and they need a place to play and get outside and exercise. And as a 90s kid, you know, that speaks to me. So, yeah, you know, I'm not about those neighborhoods with no trees, no parks, and, you know, cookie cutter houses. That drives me nuts. Even though that's just the way of things and I'll probably be doing that 
<laughs> buying a house in a neighborhood like that in the next couple years but this is the back edge of the park this is the western edge and you can see you have some grills here some picnic tables and things like that the cool thing about a park like this is that you do not have to reserve these areas or these grills like you have to do in some of the like larger parks and trails around the area like the very large ones they have these picnic areas where you can actually reserve them and they're a, they're a lot busier so you need to do that because you have family multi family events family reunions and things that go on at those parks and you can actually um, you know reserve them but here you really don't have to do that this is the western edge of the park like I said it does border a neighborhood um, gonna kind of be nosy that's a nice slide um, when I first saw this slide I was thinking water slide that's cool my only concern is that I have not seen a slide that tall in the park before so that's you know what if a kid decides he's gonna jump off the edge it's kind of weird to tumble down those stairs because those are like straight up concrete stairs you know maybe they're rubberizing but Okay, so that's going to wrap it up. That was actually a water slide. Um, and I just wanted to end the video by saying this park is one of those parks that, you know, looks good pretty much year round. So it's great to stop and, you know, walk around and enjoy with the family. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. There you have it, McClure Park. Thanks for watching.